Now we have the ability to do some rules management um, next. And the rules management, um, first we're gonna look at posting rule management. I can then determine um, sort of based on those lot statuses and other things that are happening in this system, I can determine a couple of things. What do I want to do with assembly consumption, pick, positive adjustment, production, sales shipment, transfer shipment, as well as item availability? And I can determine um, rules uh, for those calculations, essentially. And I'm just going to start with item availability because this is a common question that we get. I want to quarantine an item you know, on, on an incoming receipt transaction, for example, until it goes through a QC process or until it's been evaluated. And I don't want to be able to sell that. Okay. So in this example, we're saying, well, what, or how do I calculate item availability? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm looking at expired material and I'm gonna block the action, which means don't make it available if the remaining shelf life is less than one month. So you can see, I can do calculations against other values that are on the lot, not just maybe the status. So this is looking at an expiration date. Then this next one says that, um, if the status is quarantine on my lot, then I also do not want to make it available for, um, uh, well, in the item availability calculation. So you can see that we've got the ability to set up rules, again, based on those statuses or, or other um, values on the item in this case to make or to determine what my item availability is. So rules management allows me um, to do that sort of thing. This pick, for example, I can set conditions on the pick to say, um, you know, it really, I don't want to pick anything that has, uh, you know, an expiration date that's less than a month, for example, or, or something like that. So you can do the same thing again with these uh, transactions or the actions that are in the system. So positive adjustment, negatives of adjustment. I can prohibit a shipment of something that, um, you know, again, has an expiration date less than a month, as an example. So that's what these rules then uh, allow me to do and how I can leverage um, lot management. The other piece on the rules um, is actually uh, modification rules. So I'm going to look at um, modification rules on the lot. And what these rules are set up to do is to determine um, who and under what conditions can I make changes to lot information? So lot information is not static. We can we can change things on it, like expiration dates example, and I'm going to show you that a little bit later. But what this is going to do is I can create rules to limit those activities based on certain conditions. So for example, here I've got this expiration date. It's active. So um, I cannot change an expiration date on a lot if my permission set is not equal to super, for example. So we could set up uh, permission sets that would allow activities to happen or not happen, um, but I've got other conditions that can be set up here. So I've got permission set groups of a particular item. Uh, maybe I've got a particular variant that I want to set rules on. So, you know, based on um, why or, or maybe why things could not happen on the lots, I can set up these rules to prohibit that. So again, if you think about a, you know, Let's say medical device company, I don't want just anybody taking a, a lot and making a change on the expiration date or saying that it's no longer in quarantine and it's available. I'd want to I'd want to process around that. That's what this allows you to do. What we can then do is um, use the out of the box out of the box um, change log functionality that's a part of Business Central, so that we can then you know in more detail track things that are happening. So even if I am a super user and I do have the ability to change an expiration date, change log then would allow me to see you know who made that change, what did the the value change from and to, and there's actually some other things that we can use with lot management to do that as well. But um, again, rules management is going to be that uh, line of defense just so that people can't willy nilly do whatever they want to do. So uh, modification rules can be set up around container type, the date of entry, expiration date, release date. Um, I can you know set the maximum number of times you could maybe change the expiration date and then around statuses of an item. 